Hello there, Manami. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Vanilla Plus on the Turtle Wow server. Uh, if you want to join, uh, get the game yourself, link is in the description. If you want to get the uh, add ons for it, link is in the description. If you want to join the Discord or join in game to meet, you go to the Discord. Link is in the description. This one on the left here. The what the fuck? Oh, it is. This isn't this one. The one from um. Someone posted about that in the di uh, description. Let's see. Where's Diamond? A bit further up more than this one here. Princess. There it is. It's probably the first epic drop in dungeons. Marodon is not that bad, not that, not that late, but I think this boss is level 49, 51, something like that. No, not that high. I'm not sure. It should. It's it's like it's sadly not shown here what level the boss is, but this this item is extremely strong for mages because you have a chance. to deal 100 extra damage on on a damaging spell shadow damage that's nice to have okay and restore 100 mana that's the important bit then you can aoe uh without stopping because you hit some star enemies if, if you attack five enemies like say think about that you get mana back you need to blizzard, you have 8 seconds, 8 ticks, 8 chances, times the amount of enemies in there You get to get mana back. That's just basically endless blizzard then. Okay, um, yeah, I turned in this quest here. I get uh, a mail from slow and steady mode. And I get this. Uh, I'm not sure about that. This one might be a interesting choice. I could do this. Backstab four percent more damage. Yeah, both are interesting because backstab front step is possible. This one might be an interesting choice just to be get around safer. Reduces cooldown of vanish and blind abilities. That's nice too. Increases speed while stealth. Is nice too. And redu reduces cooldown of stealth ability. That's nice too. This one is nice too. Two percent less chance to get critted. Ah, that's not that important. But still. More critical chance of ambush. That's the back step out of stealth. It's an interesting, but not extremely use, uh, valuable. Ghostly strike, midi weapon. Interesting. I don't know that yet. It's just. Okay, it's it's 125% weapon damage. So it's a main hand, obviously, thingy. A less energy than Sinister Strike. Ah, 20 second cooldown, that's the point. Okay, and increases 15% dodge, dodge chance for 57 seconds. Yeah, not that important then. The cooldown is way too high, I think. It dodge chance is nice, obviously, but yeah. Gives you 25% chance to add an additional combo point to your target when using ambush, garret, or cheap shot ability. 
I don't know about that. Okay. So this, in this zone, I'm, I'm probably not using anything, but I could use the next one. If I'm doing subtlety, up subtlety. Uh, I don't know, don't know yet. Chance cause your text to ignore 1.767 of your target's armor per level and increases the damage dealt. Uh, it's one and two thirds, so doing it three times is um, three and two, it's five armor, uh, five armor per level it, at uh, three ranks. Increases the damage dealt by your rupture ability. Uh, I think rupture is uh, like eviscerate. Uh, a finishing move, if I'm correct. I'm not sure about that yet. If, if, I, if I remember correctly, let's, let's say let this fifty percent chance to return to stealth mode after using your sap ability. Yeah, that's in, that's incredible. And incredibly useful because sap is uh, the stun used in dungeons to take out one mob and one NPC out of a group for like 20 or 30 seconds. That's doing two points in there. Let's you keep stealth. Gives you 15% chance to add a combo point to your target after dodging their attack or fully, re fully resisting one of their spells. What? Okay, this is only useful if you get attacked, obviously. In PvE, if you're only doing damage, you're not getting attacked, it's useless. If you're actually going out in the world and you dodge, it's nice. Let's see how much dodge chance do I have? Ten percent already. It's not getting. It's not probably probably not getting less because I currently I have one agility on the on, on me <laughs> on my gear. Increases your strength detection and reduces the chance you hit by spells and ranged attacks. That's nice too. Four percent less, but yeah. Hemorrhage. Instant no cooldown. Strike the damage the bones causes the target damage and increasing any physical damage dealt to the target up by up to three lasts. Thirty charges. Ah, for fifteen seconds. Okay, that's um. I think this is like the uh, debuff thingy that you can do on enemies so they can they get more damage yeah that's nice too it's it could be used in pve but i think separate t is not really a pve t uh, tree reduces the enemy energy cost of your cheap shot and gradual abilities by 10 yeah interesting Prep, yeah. When activated, this ability immediately immediately finishes the cooldown on all your other rogue abilities. That's it gives you back all the cooldowns, like vanish and stuff. That's interesting. That's that's like a second chance, actually. So, uh, separately looks like a good choice so far. Increases your attack power. Up to ten percent is interesting too. And that last last one, premeditation. Two minute cooldown, twenty yard range. When uses used, adds two combo combo points to your target. You must add to or use these those combo points within ten seconds, or the combo points are last. So you can you can basically add two combo points on a target, and if you don't use or add them in 10 seconds they are lost that's no problem two minute cooldowns is nice so far subtlety looks like a good way to go let's check the other ones assassination increases the damage done by eviscerate 15 percent interesting remorseless attacks after killing an enemy that deals an experience or honor gives you 20 percent increased 
Critical Strike Chance on your next Sinister Strike Backstab Ambush. Oh, ghostly. Okay, that's uh, 40% more critical chance. If you if I get it right for 20 seconds, that looks strong too after killing something. But the problem is, how often are you in the situation in open world leveling and stuff where you have 20 seconds to the next enemy? Especially if you if I'm play, playing rogue and I want to pickpocket humanoids. Just like, just saying. Uh, plain 5% more crit chance, nice. Gives your finishing moves 20%, uh, 60, up to 60% chance to add a combo point to your target. So, okay, that's useless. Ex except you are fighting elites or something like that, it's useless. You, you don't use your finishing move and then you need to do another finishing move. Or combo points. Murder. Increases all damage caused against humanoid, giant, beast or dragonkin targets. That's interesting. 2%. Not bad. Increases the duration of your slice and dice ability by 15%. Uh, that's... I think this one was used in PvE as a rogue in classic because you gain... You, you, you have to use that because... You slice and dice is a finishing move that increases your attack speed and increasing the duration of that by up to 45% lets you use slice and dice and then get point up to the five points and do the, do the eviscerate or something else. Maybe the bl 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 uh, the what was it? Uh, it was called the. Uh, Rupture, I think that was it. And then you could do point up to slice and dice again, do this. I think Rupture wasn't that good. I think it was Eviscerate, slice and dice. If I'm, I, I'm not sure about that, I'm just talking about what I think was the go to move. Your finishing, finishing moves have a 20% chance per combo point to restore 25 energy. Okay. That's nice. Five combo points is a hundred percent chance to restore twenty-five energy. That's nice, so you can just in continue attacking. Increases increases the armor reduced by your exposed armor ability. I think that was one was um, used by one rogue per raid party. So he's the dude that uh, does deals less damage, but uses exposed armor, that's a finishing move, move too, so you don't want to have everyone using that talent tree with an improved exposed armor, but one should have it. Lethality increases the critical strike damage bonus of your sinister strike, gouge, backstab. Ghostly strike and hemorrhage abilities by 6%, that's nice too. Actually this one going up to here that what's that 10 15 points here and the other stuff here would be nice just for the extra 30 percent damage from backstab might be nice actually because i'm mainly doing backstab right front step but okay increases the damage dealt by your poisons by purpose four percent up to 20 and an additional 8% chance to resist dispel effects. I don't sure about dispel effects. 8% chance increasing. If it would, 8 times 5 is 40% chance. Up to 40% chance. Yeah, that's okay too. Increases the, the chance to apply poisons to your target. That's nice too. They deal a lot of damage later on. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Assassination. Cold blood when activated, increasing the critical chance of your next sinister strike backstab or have straight by 100%. Yeah, but three, three minute cooldown. Well affected your kidney shot ability. Uh, well affected by your kidney shot ability, the target receives an additional three 
percent damage from all sources. Yeah, up to nine percent is that's not that. I don't feel like you use that that often. On the other hand, obviously, if I remember correctly, you can stun lock basically with with kidney shot and all the other stuff later on. Might be a, a choice. Uh, for now, I think separately is the safer option. A critical strikes from abilities that add combo points have a 20, up to 100% chance to add an additional combo point. What? Oh my god. Okay. That's strong. So later on, if you, if you crit with the ability, that adds a combo point, then it's two common points. Yeah, I have, yeah, I remember. Yeah, how much crit chance do I have? Just five point five seven. Yeah, only point five seven increased so far. Not, not that much. Last one is vigor increases your maximum energy by ten. Yeah, that's nice too. Doesn't look like that much. It's nice too. Okay, let's look at the combat tree. Yeah, I, this episode is only territory, I think. <laughs> Improved gouge. Increases the effect duration of your gouge ability by up to 1.5 seconds. I don't see why this is so useful. I can front step, just don't need it. Reduces the energy cost of your Sinister Strike ability by up to 6. That's nice. But I'm not using that. I'm using backstab. Front step increases your dodge chance by up to 5%. That's interesting. While solo leveling, obviously, and stuff like that. Which is obviously the, the most of the time you're doing. Uh, you're, you're in danger. In dungeons, you're, you're pretty, pretty safe as a rogue. You can just. Um, Vanish <laughs> later on. I think at level 20 you get vanished. Uh, starting then, your dungeons are pretty safe as a rock. Unless you get one shot by something. Increase the critical strike chance of your backstab ability by 10 up to 30%. Oh, oh that's strong too. Wow. This one, combined with this one, 30% more damage, 30% more crit chance. Oh! I really need to check if that's possible to go to, to do those two. And then go through here as far as possible. Ah, I don't think it's... Because those two things are just extremely strong. Increases your parry chance by 5%. That's interesting. You get just tanky. And precision increases your chance to hit with melee weapons by 5%. Interesting. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm Goblin. Against same level. Oh, yeah. I, oh. Against same level targets. No, against plus three level targets. Oh yeah, I am, I'm doing two dual, dual wield. It's it's not that easy. I remember with a single end or with a two end weapon, it was nine percent hit for the tool to have a to have the cap. I think I'm not sure, but I, I'm I'm only sure about druid. Okay, let's let's talk like that. Druid pearl. 9% hit was the cap. Then you hit the most, then you hit at the cap at the most of the time uh, targets that are plus 3, so bosses 2. Yeah, no no, no clue about it. For Rogue, I think Rogue was like, just take all the hit you can. <laughs> Not sure about Endurance reduces the cooldown of your sprint and evasion abilities. Still extreme strong, both 45 seconds. What the f so you can 90 seconds, one and a half minute reduce, though it's three and a half minutes. Then evasion, 
that's actually quite good because the lower this um, cooldown is the higher the chance you have it ready just like that may there may be a chance a situation where you just have to use it and then the next chance the situation may occur and the faster the cooldown the better this might may be a good choice to do and this one too this one is pretty important repost the strike becomes active after parrying opponent's attack this attack deals 150 percent weapon damage disarms target for six seconds hmm. Hmm. so you have parry What's going on with Perry? Let's check that. Uh, I haven't trained that yet. I think that was at level 10. Then yeah, I think their base value is 5%. So then I have 10. That's already quite strong. I feel like. Ten percent chance in the f after in, in melee, obviously. You have to attack melee mobs. And you get the chance to do this. 150% weapon damage. This arms the target for six seconds. Looks nice. Not sure about that. Improved kick. Imp gives your kick ability 100% chance to up to 100% chance to silence the target for two, maybe even four seconds. Interesting too. Increases your chance to get a critical strike with daggers. And fist weapons by up to 5%. Oh, mate. That one looks... Yeah. Interesting, too. Increases the damage done by your offhand weapon by up to 50%. That's strong, too. Oi, oi, oi. I am not sure about it. Com so far, actually, the combat looks like the damage dealing spec a uh, tree here this one this one hit chance and stuff increases your skill with measures by one and gives you one percent chance to scan stun your target for three seconds okay well five up to five skill points with mazes so it's a one more level with mazes and gives you five percent chance up to stun for three, three seconds i'm just Wow. Because um, with daggers and with maces, as a goblin, you have plus one, one, one extra level already. So this would be an additional level. <laughs> Interesting. The blade flurry increases your attack speed by 20% in addition. Attack strike an additional target uh, nearby opponent. Yeah, that's that's the... Uh, PvE component that lets you attack one more target. That's because goblins are very, very. That, I think it's the only way to attack more than one target as a goblin. This one. <laughs> that's why it's. That's why. I, I and I think this is the only reason why combat spec is. Uh, and this one adrenaline at, at rush over there. That's the the only reason combat spec is the PvE as a raiding spec. Uh, sword specialization it gives you one percent up to five percent chance to get an extra attack on the same target after dealing damage with the sword oh that's nice too so you best basically have a two every 20th hit is a is a is a two hits that's nice too that's why this is sword is the go-to for pve Throwing weapon specialization increases increases the range of throw and deadly throw by three yards. What? And gives you a deadly throw up to 100% chance to interrupt the target for three seconds. That's nice. Maybe even six seconds. I doubt that timing is timer is going to increase. Increases your skill with sword, fist, and dagger weapons by up to six. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Wow. 
Ja, Sword ist okay. If you're playing Sword, it's back. Obviously. If you're playing Dagger, you can get six. So it's a bit more than a level again. There's 5% hit here. There are, is more than one level in hit here. Goblin has one more level in hit already. Damn. I think that's interesting. Maybe even a, a choice than to go take up with Goblin. Increases the damage of your Sinister Strike and if it's separate abilities by up to 6%. Yeah, okay, Sinister Strike is if you're playing Sword Spec, obviously the main to main go go to an eviscerate is part of the rotation next to the the blade next to slice and dice yeah and there's adrenaline adrenaline rush increases your energy regeneration rate by 100 percent for 15 seconds okay i'm i'm so torn torn about what i'm going to choose I, I, first off, first decision that I want to take is I want to take something that gives me an immediate improvement to my situation or leads to an immediate improvement to my situation, like this one. Endurance, you could take the first step in here or, or improve spend at level 20. Evasion, sprint, or sprint cooldown, or this one is the reduces movement impairing effects 20, 21. If I go there, 21, 23, 24, then I would have the most important stuff that I feel like gives me a edge in surviving. What was up here? Yeah, this one. This one would require up to 25. So 15 levels here, 20, 21, 23, 24. Finishing this as 29. Mm. Doing those. And some other three points, I'm not sure about that. Yet, yeah, at 34, 39, okay. That's 21 more points. That's no, no way to go through here. That's 10, 21. You could only go through until here. Like prep, yeah, that one would be already useful. Yeah, premeditation is not that extreme. Uh, but okay, uh, for real, T talking about the last skill point that I'm setting, that's no, that's no go. That's no, that's a no go, I think, because the last skill point that I'm getting is at level 60. Then I don't worry about dying anymore. So, okay. Um, I think I'll, I'll, I just look about what do I reach at level 20. Let's do about, let think about that. Level 20, I reached this one. Increases my chance to dodge, okay. Uh, where was that weird thing? That's parry. Yeah, that's not in... This one reduces the cooldown of vanish and blind. I feel like this is the first step to go to. Increases speed while stealthed. Up to 15%. Reduce cooldown by stealth of stealth by 5 seconds. Yeah, it's 5 seconds cooldown instead of 10. That's strong. 
That's not that important. 12% yeah. Increases damage from backstep by 20%. Flat 20% more damage. Wow. Combine that with... Where was it? Here? Critical strike, 30% more damage. And combine that with here. Another 30%. That's... Critical strike damage bonus, yes. This one does 20% more damage on critical, uh, on backstab. This one gives you 30% chance on crit, crit chance on backstab. And this one gives you 30% more crit damage on big backstab. I do that. I go over here first to get this one. Because Vanish is the last savior for Rogue. Um, yeah. I'm doing this one first. 4% back damage just like that. This one is the first one I'm going for. At level 15, I get the first point in here. Perfect. Okay. Um. Yeah, obviously. I have not done much yet today. But that's it for today. <laughs> I've only done look at this talent tree. But it's okay. See ya tomorrow.